As the Minister knows, I think something like almost 20 per cent of the world's population are, are members of cooperatives of one kind or another uh, in the economic sphere with perhaps 300 million workers. We've had our own tradition, I suppose, of ICOS and uh, in particular the credit union movement. Um, and uh, I've, I've been asking, I think, recently you know, a series of questions in relation to the kind of supports we give co-ops uh, and whether or not uh, uh, the 31 Leos um, and indeed Enterprise Ireland uh, and our other organisations, if we could do more to, uh, to, you know, to pr promote the co uh, cooperative ideal uh, and encourage more start-ups. Uh, thanks, Cahirla. Thank you, Ara. Go on, no, um, go, go on, and I just want to thank the Deputy for raising this, this uh, matter. Uh, the cooperative model is one of a number of legal options that are available to those uh, considering establishing themselves in business, and the different models have their own distinct characteristics. It is, of course, up to each individual operation to choose the model that best suits the nature of the business and the desired ethos of the entity. My department does not promote one business model over another. My department's role is to facilitate the development of cooperatives rather than actively encourage or promote them. My responsibility lies in the legislative provision for cooperatives in general. Any initiatives to facilitate or promote the development of cooperatives in particular sectors, for example childcare, education, housing, energy retrofitting, environmental protection, would be a matter for my colleagues in the respective government departments. My department supports cooperatives in the same way as it supports other enterprises. My department provides a range of grants and funding streams for ambitious start-ups principally through the local enterprise offices. The 31 LEOs uh, are located throughout the country and provide a range of supports for the micro and small business sector. As the first stop shop for providing advice and guidance, financial assistance and other supports to those wishing to start to grow their own business, the LEOs provide a signposting services to all the relevant state supports. Uh, offer direct grant aid to micro enterprises that's of 10 employees or fewer in the manufacturing and internationally traded services sector which over time have potential to develop into strong export entities. They offer soft supports in the form of training and mentoring and they assist with loan applications to microfinance Ireland. Enterprise Ireland have a number of targeted supports for startups, including cooperative startups that have global ambition, the potential to scale and meet Enterprise Ireland's el eligibility criteria. Enterprise Ireland uh, supports enterprises in regional and rural areas to start, innovate and remain competitive in international markets now and into the future. Supports include competitive uh, feasibility funding, mentoring grants and innovation vouchers. Thank you, Minister. The rest yeah. of your reply will be on the record. Okay, Deputy Brown, thank you. you one minute. Thanks, Carol. Uh, well, well, just a general policy that you made, you said there in relation to the, the, the non-promotion. Given the kind of changes that are happening in relation to, uh, you know, international tax policy at European level and so on, um, it, is it something though that uh, perhaps you should look at? Uh, and I know you've had, I think, distinguished service in the sector in the past. Is it something that we should look at, uh, you know, to actively promote? For example, I know when you answered me some time ago in relation to the 31 Leos, uh, th there wasn't specific information on, like, uh, for example, how many co-ops were helped, say, over the last four or five years, and particularly down 2017. Similarly with Enterprise Ireland, and particularly in regional development, uh, and in areas, you know, rural areas with high unemployment, I mean, again, uh, yeah, how many cooperatives were, were, were assisted in, in that area? Um, I mean, do you think, again, if policy changed, uh, is it something that you would consider perhaps having, uh, you know, a, a sort of cooperative unit uh, within the, dep the department or within Enterprise Ireland or within the LEOs, uh, you know, to actively uh, uh, promote it, um, and in particular in relation, obviously, to uh, developments in finance, uh, what, what steps the government could take to um, assist the credit union movement uh, in, in coming years. Thank you, Minister. One minute. Uh, thank you. Uh, well, just to say, Deputy, I, I absolutely am a, a, a huge advocate for the cooperative movement. As you know, I've, I've worked in the credit union movement, which is one of the greatest cooperative movements right across the country. Uh, again, uh, responsibility for that lies with the Department Department of Finance. Um, there, what I am responsible for is, is the legislation, uh, but we support them in terms of uh, as being businesses uh, through the LEOs and through enterprise.
Enterprise Ireland. So there are supports there regarding the information on how many co-ops have received help. I'll, I'll get you that information, uh, Deputy, and provide it to you. Um, so uh, and I'll be happy. And if you want to, to, to come and talk to us about this, uh, I'd be happy to sit down and have a conversation with you about about the whole area around cooperatives, because I do believe that they do wonderful work in this country when they're supported, because they will take up the slack where other businesses might not want to go. They'll provide a good service. It's all you have a voluntary board, and then you have uh, people uh, working in it. They get their wages, but it's not for profit. So I absolutely think it's it's a it's a great principle. But Thank my you. role as Minister for Business is on the legislative uh, side. Final Sorry. comment, Deputy Brown. I mean, do you think there should be any other changes? For example, the, the, the minimum number uh, of, of members required, uh, I think, is, is seven. Uh, could that be reduced? Uh, could, could there be a lower number for a group of people who, you know, who want to start in, in a cooperative way? Um, are there changes that we could make to um, uh, the, the fin I know it's going into other territory, but the Finance Act, but the Companies Acts even, uh, to uh, facilitate development of co-ops? Uh, a lot of people were uh, a bit shocked, I think, at uh, a report that was published, I think, in, in the Indo, in the Independent, there recently, in relation to the credit union movement uh, and to warnings about what could happen uh, to the movement. The movement, as you know, as you know better than anyone, I think, it's consolidated immensely uh, over uh, recent years, um, and uh, many uh, unions have joined together and so on. But it do, there does seem to be a, a necessity for government uh, to give the credit union movement additional powers, particularly, for example, in relation to housing finance, uh, to become a key actor in the housing area, but also for the support of SMEs, given that there's you know, uh, the, the 12 or 15,000 uh, um, volunteers and workers in the credit Thank union you. movement that they have uh, and their members have these immense assets of 12 or 14 billion and that that, could be, you. that could be used in, in say, the, the housing industry, for example. Thank you, Thanks, Thank you, uh, and, uh, Deputy, just to say that um, the, the credit unions that, that I am very familiar with are regulated by the central bank, and that's something that uh, uh, a proposal that, that, that can go to uh, the Minister for Finance. Um, Regarding the legislation, uh, the, there is a need for a, a full root and branch review of the existing legislative uh, framework that has evolved in a piecemeal fashion over the last uh, century. That's the, 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 um, the, Re the Friendly Societies and Industrial and Provident Societies Miscellaneous Provision Act 2014. So that's, that's, uh, th that came into effect. But there's, a lot, the, the, there's more legislation. It does need to be tidied up. There's a lot of, there's a lot of different legislative, uh, legislation out there. Uh, so we do need to tidy it up, and my department held a public consultation on the proposed legislative reform between the 1st of November 2016 and the 31st of January 2017, and replies received on foot of that consultation are currently being uh, considered. Uh, it's anticipated that the legislative <coughs> review re will result in the modernisation of areas including corporate governance, shares, membership, among other regulatory matters, as you mentioned, uh, Deputy, and uh, th they're currently uh, looking at that and uh, Hopefully, we would be bringing legislation forward uh, at some stage in the future. But I am happy to engage with you on that, uh, Deputy.